Hey folks, it's Witty here over at USMA Blade and just coming to you from the shop tonight. Um, this video is, is kind of coming out of necessity from, a, we've got just a, a handful of customers, but they've been asking some questions lately. And with the growth and the, the, the number of people in the market that are starting to, to conceptualize and understand the Hinder Triway pivot system, we, uh, the more new newcomers are coming in to hinder and we thought this video might help uh, some of you out there. So what this video is about is is not just, we've already done a video about the triway pivot system on hinder knives and what it is. So no need to go through all that again. If, you, if you're not familiar with what it is, uh, this video explains some of it, but not a ton. The purpose of this video is to help some of you who are trying to switch your knife from the bearings to the Teflon or to the phosphor bronze washers. Um, we, we've had a, a, like I said, just a handful of customers and we move a lot of hinders, but a handful of customers who seem to be having some issues with it. And I'm hoping this video might help them out. So just to start, to give you an idea, um, what we have here is we've got three hinder knives. Uh, these are all three mine. So, uh, and no need to worry about what, what we're doing with them or anything else. These, these all belong to me. You'll be able to, sell, to tell very quickly that they're all used and, and have, have been well loved. But so we'll start with the Eclipse uh, three inch, which has been uh, a big time everyday carry of mine recently. Love this little knife. And this knife is on bearings. And as you can tell, it fires like a rocket. Everything's great. Now, next up, we have my Jurassic, and this one is mine, and it's on Teflon. Now, this one, you'll notice, it, you're not going to notice in the video, that the action is definitely different, but we're going to get to that in a second. And then this happens to be, excuse my little prop there, but I, if I don't prop this up, it glares at you. Uh, this happens to be a triway sheep's foot. So, uh, anyway... The, this one happens to be, I'm pretty sure, riding on phosphor bronze. And I did not check beforehand, but I'm pretty sure this one's riding on phosphor bronze washers. So what's the point of the video? Uh, the point of the video is that as you switch between these, these uh, uh, bearing systems or, or, or washer systems, you're going to notice some difference in action. And what's come up from some of our customers is that they're like, well, hey, when I take the bearings out and I put in Teflon or I put in uh, uh, the phosphor bronze, I'm not getting the same action that I'm gonna get on bearings. And, and without sounding condescending, it, it, there's, there's no doubt you're definitely not going to get the same action. So the reason I have these three knives set up here is because it, one, we're going to take this one apart and switch it around here in just a minute, and probably this one as well. This is a, an older one. This is not on the triway pivot system, and this is on Teflon, and this took time to break in. But what you're going to notice is with the older model and, and that's being on Teflon is that you're not going to get that same action. If I don't put pressure on this and flip it properly, it's, it's not going to do the same as the Eclipse, whereas the Eclipse on bearings, it doesn't matter. I can press it pretty darn light as long as it's got a good detent on it, it's gonna fly open. So you're going to have a little bit of difference between, the, between them, uh, especially when you go switching them. So same is true for the Phosphor Bronze. It's, it def this one's definitely flipping very well uh, it's definitely got a little stronger detent as they've started doing over the last couple years, but you'll be able to tell if I'm trying to flip it really light. There we go. Really light, barely. As soon as I start feeling it break that detent, I'm taking pressure off. We're not getting all the way open. These are gonna, you're not just not gonna get the same action, but you can get darn good action with them. Whereas if I'm trying to do it with the bearings in it, trying to flip it really light and it's not flipping. So obviously, you know, this is Teflon. Uh, this, this is how this knife came and I've never even taken it apart. Uh, surprising for some of my knives, but um, let's go ahead and start 
And please keep in mind that this is not how easy it is to break down a hinder. Uh, I've broken the, the, the Loctite on this pivot already. So, uh, and I'm sorry I'm not using the hinderer tool. Normally I would, but we've been sold out of them for a while and really looking forward to getting more in here soon. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Eclipse three inch and we're gonna switch everything out. And we're gonna kind of talk about it as we do. So, uh, like I said, this one's riding on bearings. And as we get it apart, which this is, we're just gonna take apart one side. No need to take the whole thing apart. So this happens to be the bronze anodized version, which is mine. And then it's been held, holding up great. So as you can see, get that to focus in properly we are sitting on those bearings uh, some people have asked me does it matter which way the bearings are facing uh, no uh, honestly it does not I like to have so you'll notice there's an open side and so there's a closed side and an open side personally for me I like to have the open side facing out uh, but it doesn't matter we've seen them put together all sorts of different ways and we've never seen it make a difference now, when it comes to, let's just switch, so let's switch to Teflon. So I like to put my spacer in first, and then my Teflon, because if you put the Teflon in first, it doesn't quite fit in that hole. It's close, but not quite. And then we're putting the other spacer in, and then the Teflon, excuse my knife, it's a little dirty on the inside, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Now. I promise you there's a reason I'm doing all this. So we'll get to it. Just give me a second to get this back together. There we go. I like to hear that snap. Now, in the past, I've done videos about Teflon and back on the older gens and that hinders have a break-in period. Now, this is especially true. The original hinders came with Teflon. And the whole point of the trialway pivot system is, hey, I'm gonna be around sand or dirt or out in the woods or doing whatever. Well, Teflon's the best way to go. So, you know, on some of the old hinders, <laughs> heck, he, he, you know, if, if it, he, you had to use two hands. I mean, the point was is that you were gonna use the knife hard. It wasn't about how it flipped. Well, now he's giving you the option to, to get the knife that flips, but then the knife that, that may not flip super well on the tough one, but it's still gonna flip. So, and, and I, you know, it's, this is one of those things. It's not a crack on any of my customers because it, it especially when you're dealing with tough one, what we're gonna get to is that there is a tuning process. So I just put that back together very quickly and we are sitting heavily to the right uh, and let's see, is there bait, blade play? Yes, there's blade play. So from here, I like to do what's called micro turns and just slightly turn it, get a little tighter. And honestly with these, I've done another video in the past about centering. If they're not centering right, then you, you definitely reference to that video. Now, as you can see, I've gotten it too tight but we're on Teflon, so it's not gonna flip as well, but we gotta back it off just a little, and that backed off too far, you've just got to keep going with slight micro turns, and you got to work on it. And look at that, oh, damn, that didn't take, I thought this would take four or five tries. That's sitting, I don't know how well you guys can see that in that video, but that is sitting dead centered. The action's good and there's no blade play. So it can be done. And guys, you gotta remember, I we, we are an authorized anodizing dealer for Hender. So we take apart and put back together Henders all the time. I mean, it, 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 to the tune of, of many a day some days. So, uh, you know, some days we take apart and put back together 10 of them. Um, and, and some days only one, but it, it, regardless, we do a lot of them. So we've gotten very good at that micro tuning 
And what I mean by micro tuning is, so you'll hopefully I can show this here. As you back it off, it's going to back off a lot, it, it, especially if you have it over tightened. And then when you go to tighten it, you're, you're talking about maybe tenth of an inch turns at a time. And you kind of got to just test. You got to kind of just work the angle. But once again, you guys saw me earlier trying to slow flip this and it would open all the way. Let's see if it still will. It will not. And that's where you're going to see the difference. There is definitely going to be a difference. Now, the other thing that I want to reference with this is with Teflon, in my, as I referenced in the older videos, there is a break-in period. So if you're going to switch to Teflon, you got to give that Teflon time and it, that, that Teflon kind of works into all the, the tiny little micro spaces in there and gets everything, it, it, they're self-lubricating, so gets everything you know moving better over time. So once again, I think if I carried this for a week or so on Teflon, it would flip not as good as bearings, and it certainly isn't going to close like it does with bearings, but it'll get a lot closer, a whole lot closer. And there are some people out there, there's some folks that are just, that are hinder nuts that have been old school with the Teflon, and they can get these things to where they're drop shutty clothes with no play. And that's impressive, but, and you can get there, but it just takes some time. So keep in mind that break-in period is there. It's not going to be the same action. Now, once again, and I'm sorry, I know this is going really long, but, uh, I just want to really address this the best I can. And I apologize, I'm working from behind the camera here. So we're going to switch now over to the Phosphor Bronze. Now here's where there's also another difference. I Personally to me, Phosphor Bronze, Teflon, it doesn't matter. I know there's some differences in what environment you're going to be in. And Rick really loves the Teflon. He prefers the Teflon. And I get it. I mean, it, it, they definitely are the best for, for the dirtier environments. But switching over to the Phosphor Bronze, this is where the other difference is. It's important when you're dealing with Phosphor Bronze. And usually I use mineral oil, but I'm at work and I just have this little thing. So you don't have to see me make a mess of it. It's important because phosphor bronze is not, washers are not self-lubricating. So you definitely got to get a little lubrication in there. Um, you don't have to put the whole damn bottle in there just to squirt. So I, I got to be honest with you. I rarely carry with phosphor bronze, but um, they, they, they definitely work. And if, the more you're willing to work with these on those micro turns, uh, the more you'll see how well they work. There's that snap. So, uh, all right. Get this put back together. getting there I seem a little shaky that's because I went for a big run earlier trying to keep up with my wife who was turning into an exercise fanatic but get everything tightened up and definitely too tight you can see it won't even flip all the way open so once again we're too tight and sorry, take it away to look at the, and we're sitting a little off center. Loosen that up just a little and put us at center. And there it is. Flipping great. Yeah, maybe a smidge of blade play. So once again, I got a little blade play, just a micro turn. That did it. No blade play. Flipping well. 
But once again, if I try and just lightly, well, lightly, there it goes. It's not going to be the same as bearings. I mean, it's, it's, it's just not, but by darn, it's close. I mean, it's really close. Uh, still not going to be drop shotty, but once again, give that lube a little time to work its way in there and it, it, the action's just going to continue to improve. But once again, Foster Bronze, they're not self-lubricating, so you are going to have to, to uh, definitely get some lube in your pivot every once in a while. So I hope this helps. Once again, this, you know, this copper one is mine, and, and this is running on Foster Bronze, and it runs great. So, you know, you've just got to work with it. You take your time, be patient, and micro turns on that pivot, and you'll be able to switch them over from one to the other with no problem. Guys, I, I switch these over on customers' knives all the time. They'll order a knife and they'll say, hey, please anodize it and please switch, you know, from, from the, the um, bearings to the phosphor bronze or to the Teflon, and yet to get a complaint on it. So it is a little tough. It takes a little practice, but so does everything. Uh, that, you know, the first time you got a flipper in your hand, you, you necessarily couldn't flip it well. So uh, it's sharpening a knife. It takes practice. You got to got to work with it just a little, but it's not that difficult. So I hope this helps for those of you that have had an issue trying to switch them over. But uh, it's a fantastic system. Like I said, I personally haven't seen a problem with it. And I've done it. I've, I've switched a ton of knives over and there hasn't been an issue. But if we can help in any way, you can always email me at scott at usamadeblade.com. That's Scott with two T's. And all these knives, uh, as far as right now, we, we carry a, a good number of hinder knives and they're available on our site at usamadeblade.com. And as always, folks, we appreciate you watching.